Hello, BioCore. Uh, my name is Matt McLaughlin. I graduated from UW Madison in May of 2020, and I also graduated from BioCore in May of 2020. Um, so just continuing on and taking all my learnings from BioCore kind of brought me here to Dave O'Connor's laboratory, uh, who is the husband of your professor, Shelby O'Connor. Um, and so today we've been doing uh, the kind of saliva pH and RT lamp detection of SARS-CoV-2 experiments that you all planned. Um, I guess we kind of started over here in this hood. Um, so this is a biological safety cabinet, a BSC. And so in here is where we first inactivated your samples at 65 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. We then brought them over here to two more heat blocks, which we had set to 98 degrees Celsius. And there, those were treated at 98 degrees Celsius for three minutes. From there, we moved over to another biological safety cabinet where we used the vortex to agitate your samples. And then we spun them down for two minutes using that microcentrifuge. So that spinning the samples down for two minutes was really useful because it got any gunk or particulate that you happen to have left for us kindly in your tubes settled to the bottom of the tube and so it didn't mess up any of the reaction um, in theory when we were pipetting it around. So from there also in this hood we did a one-to-one -one dilution in 1x PBS which is uh, just a kind of fancy sort of buffered saline solution and then over there we moved into the last BSC. All of these are empty now and being treated with UV light uh, to inactivate any viral RNA that has happened to leak off into the BSC. But in here, uh, with my coworker who is filming, Katrina, uh, start, set up and then prepared uh, the lamp reaction. Um, so that's just a basic kind of, uh, I'd say kind of a cousin of PCR. So really similar to PCR, but just a little bit less sensitive and uses a color metric simple readout. And so she set up those reactions in there and then we took it out to the outside to run them. So right now we are walking around in our biological safety level three laboratory um, that allows us to work safely with viruses. So there is a negative pressure in here. Um, okay, that's not a question. Um, there's, a, there's a negative pressure in here. So. That basically means that when you open this door to the outside world, all the air was going to stay in here and it's not going to leak out. So if there's any contaminating virus, it wouldn't possibly infect or endanger anyone out there. So moving on over here. We took your before and after pictures of the lamp reactions on this table under this fancy light source to make sure that there was a consistent lighting between the before and after images for each of your images. And then from there, we actually have some samples undergoing their colorimetric lamp reaction right now. This is just a heat block set to 65 degrees Celsius. Here are all your samples. And this timer, which is actually about to go off, wow, perfect timing, um, <laughs> is set to 25 minutes, which is the time point where we'll take our first picture at. I guess from here, I can show you guys, once the timer runs out, we'll start pulling samples and move them over for an after picture. So thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of your semester. <laughs>